think a town of 350 people would have a need for solar powered bikes, but here in the town of Talgum on the east coast of Australia, they want to remove their dependence on the electricity grid and go completely renewable. So Talgum Energy Project is a community energy project that aims to take the whole town of Talgum and the surrounding village off grid and make them carbon neutral using renewable energy only. Whilst being off grid was an important goal, being carbon neutral was probably more important. So an important step in um, becoming carbon neutral, more importantly than off grid, is becoming as efficient as possible with how you use energy. So one way we do that is install energy monitors within their meter box and that goes to a web portal and people can then have a look at graphs of their data and time use data to match up when they were using energy for how much they were using. This town, we want it to be off grid and we want people to value the fact that they've got a say in the cost of energy. I think Australia generally with our renewable policy is, is not progressive at all and we've got so much more capability. We've got the technical expertise, we've got the land, we've got the availability. Um, we just need the foresight and the, and the leadership. As soon as I drove in I was just like, wow, how come I haven't been here before? It was just a great vibe when I came in. So I went up to one of the little cafes up the road and there's just this little hidden world out here that I wasn't aware of. So. Um, I bought the old butter factory down the road and it was this big cool building that didn't have much use for it and I thought what, what could I do with this building here in relationship to educating the general public about sustainability and renew, you know, renewable energy in general. So my name's Paladin Nova and I work in the bakehouse. Like a lot of people here I've got you know, a few different things I'm involved with. I know small towns at the end of the grid, um, it sometimes costs more to send power that far down the grid. Um, we often get power cuts, so I think as a, an introductory kind of pilot exercise, it's great to, to look at this with small towns like us. The cafe that I'm involved with, we have a system that covers 30 to 40% of our use, and we're also looking to do it with some of the other businesses in town. Our first solar system that we've put in uh, takes the energy direct and puts it into a system that we're using during the day. So where is all this solar power going to come from? Well, right now the people of Talgum have solar panels on their roofs, but the goal is to eventually take this paddock and put in a giant covered walkway, covered with enough solar panels to power the entire town and beyond. Now, in our case, that's enough to provide the majority of power that we use in, in the township itself. Um, wouldn't give us the ability to retail or have any over and above power, but it would certainly be enough to offset most of our usage. We have identified another area just out of town where we'd put on more like a commercial solar array, and that's probably what we'd be using for our retail or commercial side. Coal is necessary, obviously, you know, we're, we're wedded to coal for the time being, but we need to be phasing out of it. I'm, I'm hoping that Talgum will be a pilot, an example, uh, and, and a good one that will uh, show others that this is what can be done.